Yowski, before we get uh, to the meat of this video, I would like to apologize all my viewers uh, for my previous video, the first one on sewing. It was, uh, well, the quality was so low, it was below even my own very, very low bar. And yeah, the problems were on me and my hardware. Hopefully that stuff was accidental and uh, this and future videos uh, will be better. So yeah, benchtop stuff. Uh, let's start with context and for context we have to go to the past. Yeah, that's my main electronics workbench and for the purposes of this video we'll just focus on these two devices on the right. Uh, my trusty soldering station, the PT936 uh, and you know the business end of it and the holder. Uh, this thing is probably about 20 years old. I bought it when I was still in high school with my own money and by own I mean money I've actually earned. Uh, fortunately I wasn't earning that much when I was in high school to be able to afford any sort of DC power supply but now I am so I bought it a couple of years ago. It's a Unity and it's borderline overkill in terms of power. I think it's about 200 watts and uh, both of these things uh, as much as they are great and useful they are pretty chunky as should be obvious but in case it isn't my trusty quarter dollar here uh, just uh, you know to give you some sense of scale and yeah they are big and they require proper mains connection by mains i mean properly wired with uh, ground or earth connection because otherwise especially this thing it pretty much says that it is unsafe to be used but we are 20 years into the future and i've seen some cool stuff on youtube and had this idea, maybe I can collect tools for electronics that are small and convenient enough that I can keep it in the drawer of my main bench. And the answer is uh, yes, so we have here a soldering iron and a power supply front end. This doesn't have power, it's just the regulating, monitoring and protection stuff with the leads that I keep always attached for convenience, you know. Uh, the less friction uh, the better now this thing the is a fnirsi nobody knows how to pronounce that so if you go to aliexpress you will have dozens of different manufacturers brands uh, so basically caveat emptor for that but i guess if you're in northern america pine seal not pencil pine seal is uh, most likely what you want and uh, I think Adrian Black reviewed something similar to that, if you want to go look for that. I mean, I find those videos from people who actually know what they're doing to be extremely useful. And that's how I was, like, got aware of this even existing. It's uh, Dave Jones at the EEV blog. He reviewed it, including full teardown, and gave it sort of an approval as this actually doing what it says on the tin which is why I bought it and this was great because I was looking for a small DC power supply for at least half a year and couldn't find anything that would be this small and mostly self-contained and that's a great point here because both of these things they do not have batteries they you do not connect them to mains for both of them you need USB-C and uh, rather more powerful power brick so you know probably just like you i have at least a dozen or probably two dozen if we count both the usb a and usb c power bricks but it's extremely unlikely to just find one that goes even to 30 watts uh, this is a 100 watt power supply and this is best uh, used with more than 50 watts that's what i'm gonna say 60 is probably the bearable but the more the better so you need to power these things and uh, for this stuff still to be convenient for the main bench i've got this this is a green cell power brick of whatever model the main point about this is that it has pd you know usb c and this thing when you're using just this uh, usb c port is actually 75 whooping watts it's the most powerful brick that I have and only one like that and it's funny because I bought it for travel back when travel was a normal thing in I think 2018 so it was bleeding edge back then uh, it's a uh, yeah it's a power brick that's excellent for this uh, sort of electronic setup 
Again, I'm a hobbyist. I don't do it eight hours every day of the week, you know, 250 days uh, a year. So I need stuff that's really convenient and uh, modular. So the main project and the main actual meat from my side of this video is the solution of having this technically on the bench without taking any of the top space, etc, etc. Let me get to that. And this is the solution I came up with. And apologies for the non-ideal angle, but uh, it's already mounted in place and I don't have any space uh, to put the camera in a better way, you know, shoebox stuff. Before we get into what it's made from and how it's made, uh, there were three main uh, constraints on the design, on the solutions. First and foremost, um, the power brick cannot be modified whatsoever. It has to be pristine as it came from the factory. The second one is that the power brick itself has to be easily removable. So, you know, nothing screwed, nothing requiring tooling to get out. As smooth, as frictionless as possible. And the third and the last uh, constraint was that it cannot take any of the actual bench space, but also at the same time has to be within uh, reach of hand, so not hidden somewhere under wherever. So pretty challenging design. And my idea here is uh, a bracket cage like thing made out of Kydex. And uh, e Kydex is usually associated with uh, knife sheets and handgun holsters. So in this case, we have a completely non-military, non-aggressive and peaceful application of the material. And if you happen not to know, Kydex is a plastic that's very easy to form when it's hot. So you heat it up and you can bend it, form it, shape it. It's relatively expensive, but it's, it's completely worth the money simply because you can do stuff that would be extremely difficult to do at home otherwise. So yeah, as you can already see, this piece is just a dust cover for the ports which are here on the top, so they are easily accessible. The main thing, the main structural element is this bracket here. It's made from the thicker uh, kydex. It's uh, two millimeters thick. And then these two legs, just to hold it from the bottom, are 1.5 millimeter uh, kydex. And another great thing about this material is that you can cut it with a knife. Of course, you will not cut it like paper. You need to score it and dig it and dig it. But you do not need to have a scroll saw or any power tool to be able to reasonably cut it. So all of those were cut by me by hand with a knife. Utility knife, nothing fancy there. And then bent. And these two legs glued to the main piece. And then the whole thing attached to the side of the bench with a strong double-sided tape. I used the Tessa branded thing, uh, strong, Tessa strong or something like that. Featured it in other videos, uh, again, not being sponsored, it's just, it's extremely good tape. So yeah, and as you can see with the design here, of course, you need to accommodate for the fact that it will need to have a mains cable. And the ease of removal here is pretty great. And the cable itself, as you can see, is uh, like leaving here. And this is a very cheap uh, cable holder. And yeah, I mean, overall, of uh, pro tips here, so these bands which you do not really see here, because this has like a little, I can see it, like a little lip here. So to match both of these to be as exactly the same in terms of the shape as possible, the trick is, is that you first bend them and only then you cut them. So this was one piece which I scored to the point that if I were to, you know, like uh, bend it, it would... Uh, split but before doing that i've uh, formed those two bands here and then i've ended up with two as identical as possible without any jigging or special tooling uh, parts and yeah it's holding pretty great uh, you do not notice it when sitting at the main bench 100 percent uh, satisfied a bit of a bonus material with all the things that I consider my electronics and electricals um, tooling that I keep in or on the main bench uh, because I forgot to show you scale. So here's the quarter dollar again. So if you put it 
here as we've done earlier on the much larger proper uh, DC power supply this these things all of them are positively pocketable including the including the brick and no I will not be telling you what these things are this is not a tool review channel there are plenty of those already please go there and enjoy their content and there we have it a kydex non-military application benchtop electronics a lot of context uh, hopefully you found is enjoyable and perhaps inspirational uh, remember inspiration must flow uh, please put on the internet the stuff that you're making the stuff that you're doing and for the time being thank you for watching have a nice day and bye